Hey, welcome back. Today we're building this. This is the Lego Friends Holiday Ski Slope and Cafe. It's one of two sets that the Lego Friends team just kind of dropped on us. It was really fun, actually, because we have, like, the summer release and the winter release. But these were just, like, the beginning and the middle of the year. And this was just, like, one, like, a couple dropped near the end of the year, which are winter-themed. Gosh, took me a long time to get there. So there's this one, the igloo one, which has got the northern lights and everything, which I've already built. It was really really sweet. This is an add-on to that too. It has lots of contextual tie-ins which is really really fun. Everything's really really today. I think I think it's gonna be fun. Really fun. Like not not just really fun. Really really fun. Okay I'll stop. I probably won't stop. Okay so there are 980 pieces in here. It's $140 in Australia, $80 in the US and it is on sale all over the place at the moment with all the sales going on. So make sure you check out your local big box stores. See where you can get this uh, for cheaper than the RIP. Oh Always try and find it cheaper. All right, so what do we got in here? We've got, I love, I'm just loving the fact that the instruction books and the stickers are being kept safe in their own little cardboard mailer these days. It's so good. Ben sticker sheets are becoming a thing of the past. Love it. All right, okay, so there are three mini dolls in here and they're all in different bags. So I'll grab them all out at the beginning so we can have a look. So first up, we've got Leanne. Just love the vibrancy of these pants. Like her, she's got a ski suit. Brand new in these colors, but we've seen this pant mold before. It goes really so nicely with the bright yellow with the orange little toes of the shoes peeking out the bottom. I love it so much. And then it ties into the top, long sleeves, got white gloves on, and she has got some little emblemy, like little Leanne things on her, including a Yeti patch and an arrow and a little snowman patch on the front. I just love the little quirkiness of the Leanne clothes with her own style, just put onto what otherwise would have been a pretty bland pretty bland little outfit but so bright and colorful I love that okay also inclusion of an arctic fox in here we've seen this mold before but not with this print on it like the little smiley eyes like oh actually I vaguely remember that this before had like holes in the feet so they might have changed this mold a bit anyway okay so we got an arctic fox we've got Leanne we've got the second of the core lego friends like of the eight core group so we've got Zach so we have got Leanne and Zach in here from our core eight lego friends my gosh, it just feels like I'm repeating myself. He's got a brand new, because I'm never sure whether I'm actually getting the words out that I'm thinking in my head. Do they come out my mouth? I don't know. Do they make sense? I don't know. Okay, uh, so yeah, he's got a brand new top. I love the magenta printing on his arms. Got a little mountainy emblem on there too. All goes beautifully on his ski suit. And he's got face and hair that we're used to seeing. But there is a brand new character in this set too. And his name is Aaron. Seen these pants piece before, but I just love the fact that he is wearing a cozy jumper with a coral colored scarf, white gloves, and his uh, skin tone is medium nougat. So we're going to be able to play some mi mixy matchy with, with his body parts later on. That doesn't sound concerning at all. Uh, his face print is also brand new too. So cute. I like the little, I like the little triangular -y look for the eyebrows. New look for the Lego friends. I don't think I've seen that before. And his nice little poofy hair on the top. Love it all. I just love it. I think he's the cutest character. He has got some mobility aids. So he's got two walking sticks, one for each hand, and then we're using the grey paint rollers for this, and they're just the perfect height. Like, they just kind of very gently skim, skim the ground. Absolutely perfect. Looks so good. Okay, so three characters plus an, a plus an animal in here. Can't go wrong with this. There are more things to add to each of these other characters. The only ones that came in this bag are, well, Leanne and the Arctic Fox came in this bag. So we'll give them their accessories in a moment, but Aaron and Zach are gonna have to wait for theirs till we get them out of their respective bags. So Leanne's got a snowboard. Her snowboard gets, we break open the first of the stickers for this. Her snowboard has been decorated by her with the red panda emblem that we see on a lot of her stuff. I'm just, I want some more, I want some more background or some more storyline to go with the red panda because just on all of her things, got a hat with hair combo, which I love. So she's being safe on the slopes. Speaking of the slopes, that's what we build next. This is actually one big incorporated build, but we build them in separate segments and then attach them as we go. So... If you saw the picture on the front of the box, there's actually the slope is incorporated around the back and down the side of the actual building. So we got a lot of 
a lot of substantial groundwork to do first and we'll do that nice and quickly but I don't want to miss any details so I'm gonna make sure that I like I'll slow down when we get to the important parts or I might just miss them completely because I might have been babbling about something entirely inconsequential which happens a lot too so sorry if that happens in advance okay so we're making some smooth snowy slopes that was really tough but I got there smooth snowy slopes up the side and they're hollow and we actually have got these little double holes in the wall which is going to be a little hidey hole or like a slide through because you've got you've got like an icy bit going through sloped on the inside too which is such a cute little hidden feature okay uh and then on the top we're yeah, continuing our smooth slopes all the way up and then to actually make the smooth smooth slope like the straight smooth slope that they can actually <laughs> this is just going from bad to worse that they can actually ski down we've we've had to attach that separately so that just hinged in hooked in and there's a jumper stud there where we can pop them on the slopes so not only it's not going to get in the way of the actual place so you can actually side them down around that <gasps> there's a little hole in the back to hide the arctic fox and yeah you we can pop the we can pop them through that hole too this is the first ah oh, this is a sign so this is the green slope the green slope is the lower slope this is the easy slopes i gotta tell you the first time i had never been skiing before until we went to new zealand this year and my son absolutely loved it and wants to do skiing all the time and yeah we can't afford that because <laughs> i never realized how expensive it is especially when you live in australia you don't live near ski slopes it's just not something that happens here so much so yeah he'd like to ditch us as a family and go and adopt a family in europe so that he can ski every winter <laughs> Poor child, it's tough to be a part of our family. All right, so let's have a look. We have got really nice looking scope, scope, slope happening already, a ski, a ski slope is now scope. And this little angled bit means that you can like look as though they're doing tricks, like snowboarding tricks on the slopes, which looks fantastic. That looks so good. I love, love, love the wintry trees just lining the back too. It's so good. I mean, it's obviously only designed to be seen from the front because those trees are suspended in the back, but I really like that. It gives the dimension without having to use lots and lots of bricks. Okay, so we are, there's a little five cent coin down here in what's going to be the foundations of the of our ski building, the cafe. Some, some snow has been actually trekked in from the outside, little snow footprints. And um, we're creating all these interesting angles. That five cent piece is now just covered underneath. It's just buried underneath all that snowy white frontage. Oh my goodness, I just love that little hidden pieces that you wouldn't know if you don't build it. Okay, this is cool. So we have got, we've got a, a, a cave or a tiny little section where you can actually go and, oh my goodness, this is, I got distracted. Oh my goodness, so M-S-O-E-A, Mia, Stephanie, Olivia, Emma and Andrea have obviously been here before and left their graffiti on the walls in this little kind of alcovey cave snowy bit where you can warm yourself by the fire. It's got a little blue crystal. I think there was a green crystal in the igloo one. So I just like the incorporation of the crystals, though I don't understand them. But I like them. They add a bit of color and flash and just something a little bit hidden inside these interesting places. Okay, so this is an interesting, yeah, such an interesting angle bit. Oh, there's actually an extra five cent piece. So even though you buried one underneath the floor, you get a spare one so that you can use it in your gameplay too. Okay, on the next level up, let's see. Oh, no, we're not doing anything on the next level up. We're heading back down to the bottom level and these are so cool this is the cobblestoning so like stone oh my gosh <laughs> why am i explaining cobblestoning is stone cobbling and that's what's actually the base of this cafe because it's built into the mountain i suppose maybe no i don't know i think i'm overthinking it but i really like these rounded these little lozenge tic tac the flat tic tac tiles that we're being they're being used for the for the definition yeah the, the stonework along the bottom this is cool too so this sticker shows you the different slopes the different ski routes i'm, I'm pretending i know anything about skiing i really don't but but the different the, the different difficulty routes going down the mountain it's such great detail beautiful graphics still enjoying the gra the, the graphic art on all of these so much oh look open nine to six nine to yeah, 9 to, to 18 o'clock, which is 6 p.m. So that just kind of inserts into the hole in the wall there. So now we have got a vending machine. Yeah, it is. It's a vending machine. This is such a cool little build. So we got a couple of 
cans in there. Just love the vibrancy of all the colors. Big, long, smooth tile panels for the side with, oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to use the, use my brick separator more often now to attach the stickers because it is a lot easier, but I'm so used to using my fingers that sometimes it's just easier using my fingers. But I like using, especially when you've got these see-through stickers, because that way I don't end up with my fingerprints underneath the stickers. Anyway, that's a fantastic looking vending machine. And Zach's tricked his, tricked his snowy feet inside. The details are just so whimsical in this. You don't see this in any other theme. Lego Friends has absolutely got it nailed with the whimsy, the whimsy and the quirkiness and the little character and the story building happening all throughout the build and the set. Just putting all the details in. Details just makes it so exciting. This is the cafe section. So we've got a barrel of biscuits on the front bench, just inside the door. A lovely old timey style checkout cash register on sand green, which is just a really nice color. Really nice color for that. And this is your coffee steamery thing. I mean, it's hot chocolate. So this croissant is weird. It looks weird. It's like kind of, and it's rubbery and textured. Is this, I'm going to, when I finish the bag, I'm going to get one of my other croissants out and have a look. All right. So we have everything we need for hot chocolates. Looks so cute. There's no, like no space left there. There's, you got everything you need. Oh, <laughs> so good. So many details. All right, bag number four, but grabbing another croissant from an older set. So this is the one that's just come in this set. Feels does, yeah. Look at this. So yeah, so the new one, no, the old one is shiny, most definitely. And I know we've had the flat ends on this for a while. The old ones have got rounded over things, but it's definitely a different textured plastic. Interesting. Okay. This is the bag that Zach came in. Zach gets a blue helmet with a purple visor. The purple visor is brand new for this set. We actually get it three times for three different helmets. It looks really, really, ah, uh, stylish, elegant, schmick. I like it. And he's got a GoPro on a stick, ready to stream his moves straight out into the, out into the world wide web. This is a little souvenir store shelf. Oh, the Yeti. That Yeti is actually on the bed. Ella's bed in the igloo set. Oh, I just love how the little details tie in together. It's adorable and so thoughtful. Just love it so much. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. I need to calm down, but I can't. I just can't calm down because it's so much fun. And oh, missing like the Yeti set. Oh. See, that's also a fantastic detail. So there's obviously some little running story happening here up on the slopes that people have seen the Yeti. Eh? Or have they? <laughs> but anyway, they're running with it. Nothing like a conspiracy theory to sell tickets and to get clicks. Okay, this is the other side of the front entry. I feel as though that like, space we've got left there is like a servery window. So you could, you can push that out. You can serve hot chocolates out through the little window. You want to keep that closed though, because you want to keep the warm air in because heating is expensive. Okay. Blue overhang on the top. I love the bright colors in this set. They actually offset all of the natural colors really nicely, like the white and the gray and the brown of which there, there is a lot in here because oh, especially a lot of white. Okay, we are building a really, really interesting way to do stairs. I'm clicking them in on our side. I like, I also love the fact that there's like, there are these two completely iced up death trap stairs on the... <laughs> On the ascent there, but they do have little jumper studs on them, so you can attach your you can attach your mini doll to them. But uh, logically, they would be the ones that they'd slide off and fall to their death. So yeah, it's ironic. That's that's irony. Also, such a cool way to attach the top of those stairs too. I need to use those Technic pins more often. That's so smart. So smart. We don't need all the foundational building underneath because you've just shoved it on the top level, the second level with some Technic pins. <gasps> Fantastic. I love that. Okay. Next floor. Working on the next floor. Got our landing for the top of the stairs. Firmly, yeah, firmly secured now. This is the banister for these curvy stairs and it clips in at the top very nicely. And I mean, you obviously don't want to hold on to that either because it's covered in slick eyes too. All right. Now's the time to attach this. So that slots into the green bit and then we pull Plug it in with the little orange Technic pin. Oh, I just love how this goes together and the angles of it are so interesting. Got some nice natural elements coming in with the stonework attached to the wall and on the, just like sticking out of the ice. And yeah, okay, so Zach's, whoa, neon yellow, by the way, this snowboard, this color is actually 
exclusive to this set currently. Let's pop him up here on his little suspended bit with his GoPro. You can get some footage and we are on to bag number five. It's looking so good, but we've only got the beginner slopes done so far, right? So we need to extend this twice as high for the, what I suppose is probably, I mean, in this case, it'll be the advanced because there's only two slopes in this situation. So if you can do corners, you can do the advanced <laughs> the advanced slope, I reckon. All right, nice rock work happening there on the side in that little corner bit. This is so interesting. And underneath there's a spider, but that spider, don't despair. You can still go down the slopes. That spider is going to be hidden under the snow. I don't know if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> you thought that spiders are hiding underneath the snow. Oh, under the ice. <laughs> it's like going for a swim in the ocean. You do not know. You can't see. You cannot see what's down there. Okay, working on the second level, there have been some interesting details going in, but this is cute too. This has got, we've got a little postcard of the dog sledding happening, which happens over at the, over in the igloo. Got a poster where you can maybe get some ski instruction. Take a little tag, ring that number. This looks like a workshop. I don't know what the black knobby things are. I kind of feel like do you wax snowboards? Don't, I know you wax surfboards. I don't know if you wax snowboards. I don't know what they're actually for. But yeah, there's a vice up here. There's a whole, it's a whole little room. A whole little repair room, but I don't know what the black bits are for. Hopefully it'll become clear as we go along. Now we are adding some articulation, some interesting, interestingness to the front. So the bottom was all cobblestoned. Up here, it's all wood logs along the front, uh, interspersed with some really, really interesting, nice, smooth, colorful panels too. Next bag, now we are putting the ice, nice slippery ice over the top there at the back and a little balcony just on the front Gosh, is there even room to open that door out onto this balcony? Got a box, very nice box design to put your snowboards in, I assume. Yep, put, I put one in there anyway, because it was an empty box. I just like to fill it. And along the front, there are all these little jumper studs. So this is so reminiscent of the Ninjago City advertising, but this is all like Heart Lake City advertising. I love it. So we got the Fresh Market. We've got, uh, we've got some snowshoes with a little mountainy emblem on it, which we're seeing on all of Zach's clothes. And we have got this pink one, which is the Gubble Bubble Gum, which is like, which entirely sponsored this year's Lego Friends. <laughs> Gubble Bubble Gum. So that goes over here. And then on the corner, oh, that's the sports center with the, Oh, with the soccer ball. So good. It just adds entirely to the, I mean, I don't endorse advertising everywhere, but it just like makes it so vibrant on the front of here. I don't mind Heart Lake City advertising. It's quirky and cute and fun. Now we have got our slope. So this clicks in here and you've got another little jumper stud space where you can pop another little snowboarder, which is really cool. You can also angle them if you want to. I'm so sorry, Leanne. She's just going to stay there face planted for a while because we got building to do. It's her own fault for going on the slope before we'd finish building. So smoothing our slopes all the way up here. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I'm getting it right. So that's okay. All of those S's, they have not broken me. Oh, I'm wondering how they're going to get up here because we've got the staircase to the second level, but I think we just have to suspend our disbelief because the ski slopes aren't actually really a part of, in like real life, they're not a part of the building. You have to imagine that they're kind of in the distance behind the building, but for the the case of this, they're they're in it. But yeah, if you know what I mean. But I like it. I really like it. They also like this. How clever is this? We've just made that just goes all the way around the corner. It's like the little peaked roofing bit, and it goes around the corner. Well, that was smart and clever. That's so tidy. I don't even know how that all fitted in. That's so clever. Okay, all right, I'll stop saying that's so clever, but it is, it's so clever. Bag number seven is the one that Aaron comes in. So Aaron, I put his mobility aids in the wrong way around. Sorry, I don't know if it makes any difference, um, but he might be a little bit more stable if I actually give them to him the way they're designed to be. Sorry about that dude, but he seemed to be doing okay. So he probably wouldn't have told me if he wasn't, but I hope he would. I hope he would feel safe enough to do so, but he gets something really very, very cool. Just because he's differently able doesn't mean that he's excluded from the slopes. He can get that adrenaline rush because he's got like this modified chair 
to go with the I'm trying to figure out where that's supposed to go on the actual skis I think that's where it is according to the instructions I feel as though I should center it and he gets some nice big bright substantial poles to be able to keep him keep him mobile and safe on the ice that looks so cool oh my gosh all right we'll pop him up on the slopes in a moment but we got one more little bit of building first and then we'll head up there so this little contraption here is to hold a sign up underneath those cool snowy eaves let's get him up there and you can actually attach him oh, so good onto the slopes love all of this so much oh my goodness all right another neon yellow snowboard to actually accentuate that sign so that's two of these brand new colors for the snowboard this is oh we're great okay so we're getting some chocolate we're getting some snacks some snacks down here for the cafe got that bubble gum gobble bubble sponsored by and the chocolate chocolate down there too and now we get some helmets with the purple visors and these whoa neon yellow helmet I'm pretty sure that's new in that color too that's what goes on the black knobby bits they're actually to hold the helmets well that makes sense now that looks so vibrant and amazing oh god this is all lots and lots of fun now we've just got some more we got some more trees to build and these are I can I know where these go because they've got little plugs to pop them into so let's put these ones in that I have pre-prepared because they're all built the same way and that looks fantastic lining the back of the slopes we're not done yet though because we have got a whole heap of I don't know why I thought we were done with the trees we've got a whole heap of cobblestoning to do and a lot of filling out to do out the front got a table there out next to the little front cafe entry window another tree and this one goes here at the bottom of the slopes and this one goes up next to the little red bird which is just adding a pop of color just in front of the slopes and this is just some foliage which oh that's so that you've got that's a little hidden section oh that's so cool <laughs> All of the detailing is just, it's always mind-blowing and exciting. Oh, wow. Speaking of mind-blowing and exciting, a third one of those neon snowboards as the back of our little chair for resting on. Well, that is amazing. And speaking of amazing, these hot chocolates were introduced in the igloo set, which I built previously. So we've got a couple of them out here on the chair and the third one's supposed to sit here on the chair. Just kind of loose on the edge, but I'm going to give it to Leanne because she's here having a break. And... One last thing is our, because we got two stickers to go on here, both the same. This is the menu sign for the cafe, the little, what do you call them? Flip boards, no. Oh, sandwich boards. Though in this case, we're not selling sandwiches, so you wouldn't call it a sandwich board. No, it's called sandwich because you can sandwich something in between it. This is a very, very clever way to make that sandwich board because you can angle it different ways. You can just kind of sit it wherever you want. That's so good. And up here in the box that I'd already filled, let's put some other stuff in it. So we've got some red ski rod things and some nice lime green ones, orange skis, which I haven't seen before, and blue skis too. So much equipment. So many details coming in at the very end oh my goodness it looks amazing it's all incorporated into one very very detail filled build oh my goodness the amount of hidden surprises in this just fill me with so much joy it's such a joy that's the thing that's what it is building lego friends sets is a joyous experience it's not it's never boring and there are always just really fun things to find okay giving people a go down the slopes whoa this, <laughs> this is a danger slope that i did say it was the advanced one let's uh let's see if i can get zach to come on let's see if he can go down without Oh no, he hit the trees. I don't know that it's really rated for anybody. And let's see if Leanne can go down holding her cup of hot chocolate. No. Okay. I think maybe the hot chocolate might have just ruined her balance there. But still, you know, you got to have a challenge. All right. Oh my goodness. This was so, so fun. I hope you enjoyed sharing the build with me. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. I just, I've babbled all of mine. <laughs> build itself so let me know yours and i'll be back with more videos in the future so make sure you subscribe give the video a thumbs up do all of the things and check back in because yeah always more stuff going up <laughs> i'll see you then bye